How to remove all devices from your Google account. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from App Guide. In today's guide video, I will show you the way on how you can actually remove all devices from your Google account. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So you might have brought a new mobile phone, you don't have access to your previous phones, you want to log out of your Google account from those phones. Well in that case, the process is pretty much simple. What you can do is you can simply open up Chrome or you can simply open up any of the browser which you have. In my case, let's say I will open Google. Once you open Google, you will be able to see your Google profile photo at the very top right hand corner. You have to tap on your Google profile photo as you can see and tap on this option which says manage your Google account. Once you go to manage your Google account right on this page, what you can do is add the list of these many options. You have to go to this section which is security. So make sure you are under the security tab as you can see right over here. Now what you could do is you have to scroll down and you'll be able to see a list of devices under the your devices section. You'll be able to see a list of devices where your Google account is logged in. Or you could simply tap on manage all devices. As you tap on manage all devices, you'll be able to see a list of all of the devices where your account is actually logged in. If you want to log out of those, what you could do is you could simply tap on it. And as you tap on it, you could actually remove that device or simply tap on the sign out button which you see and simply tap on the sign out button. Locate the device which you no longer have access to and you'll be able to sim similarly log out of your Google account. Hopefully this video has helped solve your issue. If it does fix the issue, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply also make sure to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.